Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Congo Fights the World. We're here trying to get the African power achievement. And the current war is against Portugal. Portugal has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven if you count Cape Verde, which we do. 27 provinces that I need for the achievement. And if each one's around 1% war score, because they're distant overseas, then we can definitely get them all in this war. He's not a co belligerent, so everything costs twice as much as normal, so that should be about 54 war score total. However, if any of this is not considered distant overseas, in other words, some of the stuff here in North Africa might be close enough to his capital to not be distant overseas then it's going to cost a little more. We may not be able to get everything in one war, but we'll see. Spain's helping us by sieging up Portugal proper, whereas I'm doing the task of sieging up his level 8 forts. He has three level 8 forts here in Africa. One here in Galam, one here in Abda, and one here in Tlemcen. Level 8 forts aren't that big of a deal because we have lots of manpower, but it kind of surprised me. I didn't expect it. Caught me off guard, shall we say. Anyway, welcome back, everyone. Let's continue. Aw, oh, peace offer. That's adorable. No, see, that's not good enough. No. We're doing a really good job of converting, that's for sure. Oh, Portugal's got troops wandering through my lands. Wonder where he's going. Our truce with Kaffa is over. Well, we'll certainly have to keep fabricating more then. Want to eat you, Kaffa. Armor reformer has died. That's eh, okay. Let's get a new one. All right, so we're gonna merge up in Tlemcen and uh, leave as many cannons there as possible. We don't need to leave the general there because the general does not have any siege pips. Oh, lose stability to gain mercantilism. Normally, I would say yes. Mercantilism 15. However, in this case, it's giving me the opportunity to fire my trade guy and gain 100 Diplo points. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I want to keep my inflation reduction going. Yeah. We keep getting rebels, but really not that bad. I mean, they're noticeable. But, like, we can just tick this button if we want to cancel the rebels for a while. I'm okay with a couple rebels spawning, though. We'll see. Alright, group up. We need 24,000 able-bodied men to siege this thing. Huge fucking fort. 
So group up, merge. Uh, take out the non-mercs. I need to leave... Seventeen plus seven, and then one more. Okay. Well, two more, and then we'll take the general out. Now let's take the general out. Okay. Where is this idiot going? He's trying to attack me for some reason. I don't know. I'm okay with that. So we're going to take the secondary army over here to this fort in Abda. Won't have as many cannons, but we'll still get the job done. Spain's done a good job here. He sieged Porto. There's only one more fort to siege. We may not even need to siege that. To get the peace deal we want, we probably don't even need to siege it. But I will have to take this fort out. I want my vassal to get access to the sea, and he can't get access to the sea without this fort going. This sea, look at that, negative eighty-four percent on that siege. Jesus, that's gonna take a while. This one's almost done, forty-nine percent, very nice. Sixty-three percent, we'll get there. Claim on Hadia. Come on, then. Nope, oh, failed again. We're having no luck on siege. On siege chances here. There we go. So there's one last fort in this region, and I can't really take it with 22 guys. I need more. Could hire a couple of mercs here, but my economy is already strained as it is. Hmm. Let's see. Are you willing to give me this? No. Yeah, we have to siege it because we have to. We can only demand occupied provinces, right? Because we're at war. It's a secondary target. Uh, so why don't we dock up? We we'll go siege up Cape Verde and take the snack north. And there are still rebels waiting to spawn, so we can't ignore that. Let me take the general out of this army. Come on, get off the damn boat. Yeah, we can try using check marks to get the southern fort. You're right. We'll probably do that. Check mark on. Let's get up here and blockade. 98% on this fort, Jesus. Pretty crazy. You just need more cannons, really. 
Never enough cannons. So once he's done with that siege... Oh, that was an unexpected spot for rebels. Okay. I thought it would be Masawa. It turned out to be Masina. Ninety percent, ninety percent. We have four rebels at ninety percent. Wow. Candy, what? Oh, you're shitting me. We just had fucking noble rebels spawn over here. Because he has no fort, they're gonna get it back. That sucks. Okay, we have the walls busted up here, though. Which is good. What is this? Oh, uh, cool. Newfoundland's going for independence. And, uh... 13 colonies are not helping them. 13 colonies are staying with Britain for some reason. Interesting. Alright, let's see if we can get this Fort Siege down with a check mark. Oh, well that was unexpected. Okay, that sucks. I can't deal with that. Um, not without taking one of these armies back, and I can't really afford to do that, can I? Alright, this fort in the south is going to have to wait. Check mark off. Go. Three level eight forts is really kicking me in the teeth right now. It's just too much to deal with. Especially since we're about to lose the war goal of candy. Nothing I knew about it. Oh, really? You fucking lost your siege progress. Good job. Ah, oh, more trade ships. Nice. Candy's at 42%. It will fall very soon. There it goes. That doesn't mean we can't peace out favorably. It just means it's not quite as good. Very annoying, though. Okay, 0% up here now. Clemson. So this army will be free to come down here for... Gallum very soon. Let me put you guys back on aggressive. Oh, they, they were on aggressive. Never mind. Yusugi has gone bankrupt. Really? Oh, he's getting invaded by Korea. And Russia. Oh, God. Russia and Korea are invading Yusugi at the same time. Wow. That's pretty brutal. Also, we're losing claims on Mutapa, and I'm an idiot. We're losing so many claims. I'm just not paying attention. So busy worried about the war. What scares me here is that these armies all group up into one giant stack, like that 24 stack. I am terrified of things like that. Alright, 25 dudes, you go here. Okay. Take the transports out. 
We're going to go this way with the transports. Okay. Oh, good. More rebels. All right, let's take out this 14 stack before it gets too big. Please don't merge. Please don't merge. Oh, we got Abda. Nice. Okay, hand this shit over. I still need to finish this siege down here. Let's take a look and see how much war score this shit is, though. Clear all. Okay, these are expensive because they're not distant overseas. Down here should get cheaper. Oh, god damn it! Don't kick me out of the peace deal. Still expensive. Wow. Hmm. Looks like it's going to be two wars then. Yeah, wow, look how expensive that is. Okay. Ninety-nine. Well, there's our peace deal. We're gonna have to go siege down candy though. Candy or Lisbon, but I assume Candy's going to be easier because Spain is... I don't know what Spain's doing. Go siege this Spain. He's just not doing it. You guys can go here. Okay, good. We caught this guy alone. We need to catch this one alone as well. No, 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 no. God, what day are they leaving? What day are they leaving? Fuck, they're going to beat me out. It's just too short of a distance. All right, fine, fuck it. God damn it. Oh, that sucks. What a pain in the ass. 48,000 rebels or 50,000 rebels all at once. It was 50, yeah. Because it was 14 stack that we killed. So it was 50,000 rebels all at once. And we only had 12 guys over here. Ah, whatever. Oh shit, we're, at, we're capped on admin points. Shit. Tech up. We could even tech up again for cheaper coring costs. Let's do it. Admin efficiency is just so important. Does that change how much we can take in the peace deal? Yes, it does. Look at that. 
Because we teched up again. Look how much, look how cheap this is now. Oh man. That changes everything. We can take all of it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I am worried about call for peace though. Eh, exhaustion's not bad. So we'll unsiege this stuff. And we'll go kick his ass. Thankfully, his general sucks. So, whatever. Different rebels, no big deal. Is there no river crossing from Shendi? No, there is. What about Bedja? Bedja's the ticket. Alright, so we're gonna go to Bedja. To avoid the river crossing penalty. Okay. Go for it. Oh, don't you dare run away. It's nice that he's splitting up, though. Rolling zeros against a nine. Come on, stop rolling zeros against a nine. And then a one. Fuck you, dude. Okay, we're almost done with the siege down here. We're good. Claims are coming in. Good, good. Let's go claim some more. Claim it all. Finish up those sieges. We lost one transport on the way over here, but whatever, should be fine. Okay, so that's it for Rebels, for a little while. We still have more Rebels about to spawn, but that's always going to be the case. Okay. And that's that. Thank goodness. And there goes that fort. So the last thing we need to do is go siege candy. I really don't want to do, but what choice do we have? I forgot to delete this guy. I also forgot to get rid of access over here. What a waste of Diplo points that was. Oh well. Back up. New infantry. Well, looks like the most offensive pips is down here, so we'll go with that. And since we've sieged it all, let's see if he'll peace out. Yeah, he will. Didn't even have to go back to candy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I would like some cash as well. Okay. Good times. That's going to give us every single province in the Africa region. 
that Portugal owns. Fantastic. I also got war reps. Yeah, why not? War reps. Beautiful. Now that's going to be a lot of overextension. Oh, no, it's not. Wow. That's only 46 OE. Holy shit. I have an efficiency. I love you. Okay. I am worried about revolt risk, though. So let's take a look at revolt risk. Ooh, yeah. All right, where can we increase... There we go. Increase autonomy, no big deal. That was a really good war for us. I wish you could sort this list, but nope. Sorting is apparently too complicated. Okay. Fantastic. Get rid of these stupid forts. So the nice news there is we got Gold Coast, which is the important center of trade on the Ivory Coast node. So look at that trade strength we have now. That's awesome. Portugal's just gone. The island west of Morocco is in Europe. This is Europe. So it's not a problem. This is Africa, though. So that went, that went really well. So now we have to see if we can get Russia into war against the Ottomans. If we can get Russia to join against the Ottomans, we'll do that right away. I'm really surprised that's only 46 overextension for all that land. It's crazy good. Okay. We're at plus 35 with Russia. That is crazy bad. And unfortunately, the Ottomans still have their strong allies. I'm not looking forward to that. But we got to do it. We got to take all of Egypt. And then we have to figure out how to beat Spain. I mean, the trick with Portugal was simply because he had an ally that only had Portugal as an ally. But Spain, I don't know. Shoshone. Does Shoshone have other allies? No, just Spain. Okay, so perhaps what we do is declare imperialism on Shoshone. I mean, <laughs> what other choices do we have, right? Looks like Savoy's at war with France for some reason. Oh my god, Savoy is in four wars. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, it's three different wars against the Hansa. Three different nations have declared against the Hansa. And apparently Savoy's allied to the Hansa, so that's not good for Savoy. Oh well. Why don't we call this an episode here? And on a happy note, look at our happy face. Look at such a good smile right there, Congo. Looking good, man. I think the next war is going to be against Kaffa, and then after that we'll do Mutapa, and after that we'll find a way to do the Ottomans. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we'll try to finish up Africa. Have a good day.